Hey there, little buddies. Today, I've got a tale to tell you, and it's a real adventure. You see, I was a kid. Just like you. But I was different because my mom was a... Well, let's just say she wasn't popular in town. My dad's name is Gilead, and my mom wasn't his wife. Dad was married to someone else. Because of this, my half-brothers drove me out of our home, from my hometown Gilead. I lived in a land called Tob, and many worthless people surrounded me. I guess, in the eyes of man, I was pretty worthless too. But in the eyes of God, well, that's a different story. One day, a big battle was brewing, and my people of Gilead needed a leader. They came to me because they knew I had some pretty awesome fighting skills. Can you believe it? I agreed to the elders' request on one condition. If I win this war, I will become the leader of Gilead. <laughs> and what do you know? The elders agreed. To cut the long story short, I prayed to God, and he gave me the victory against the Ammonite enemies. We won. So, as we agreed, I became a special leader in Israel. Back in the old days, God chose people to help rescue Israel when they were in trouble. These people were called judges. They weren't just heroes. They were also like the captains of their teams. But here's the thing. Long after we defeated the Ammonites, Israel kept making mistakes and getting into trouble. It was like they had problems and fights all the time. You see, no judge was perfect, and none of us could make everything right. That's why, years and years later, God sent someone even more amazing. The true hero, not just for Israel, but for the whole world. His name is Jesus. He's the ultimate superhero because he saved us from our ultimate enemy, death. And whoever accepts him as their personal Lord and Savior will get to live forever.